what is up guys, it is I, Jamie, again back with more of Pikmin, and in the last video, we have finished the rest of the distant spring right here, and we've gotten every other ship part and all that. In this video, we are going to do the very last area, and which is known other than as the final trial. So without further ado, let's -a go and do the last part of Pikmin, the final trial. Here we go. So here, we utilize every Pikmin that we've got, and we're gonna do that. First off, I'm gonna get a few yellows, which we only need, um... Right, I'm just gonna get ten out. Uh, so the yellows, they're gonna go this way, on this side of the path. And now we're gonna get the blues. What the blues are gonna do is they're gonna sort the bridge out. Uh, 40 of them exactly are gonna do that, so... I'll make 20 of them do one bridge, and then there's, there's two bridges. Um... Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. Right, they can... try and sort that out, but... Well, you're not doing that, no way. You're doing the bridge. Uh... Right. Oh, come on! Seriously? And this is pretty much the only thing that these blues have to do. Nothing else. Right. While they do that, we're going to make the yellows go here. Because they need to get some bomb rocks. In which they need to go around here. The music in the final trial is really peaceful as well. Well, not when you're near something dangerous. <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of bomb rocks, wow. Um, okay, um... Right, we're gonna need to get the bomb rocks on the other side. We don't want these Pikmin to swim over, though, because we'll lose the bomb rocks if we do. So, we have to throw them over, and then, uh... And then, you can sort them out. And now, we're gonna... As they do that, we're gonna get the reds to go over the fire. Um... Because there's some fire. In fact, we only need uh, 10 or 20. I'm, I'm just going to get 20 out. Um, the reds are going to go here where the fire is. And then... Alright, and then... So yeah, they're still doing the bridge and all that. And then, we're going to... leave those reds to push that box over there and we need these yellows to open that gate and I think the yeah these yellows can't do anything to the bridge so we're gonna now I don't know how many Pikmin this takes I think it's yeah it's still free okay Right, now we're going to wait for these. They're going to still do that. Okay, that's done. Right, uh, I'm going to see if I can do the other bridge. Unless they finish already, then we don't need to. Okay, let's just put more on there so then it's faster. Okay, they've done. Okay. And with that, right. Um... Right, rather than get these Pikmin, like, these Pikmin can literally destroy this in seconds. Look at this. Literally, they can beat it that fast. I'm not even joking, right. We don't want to touch that thing yet, so... I'm just gonna... Now, let's see how much this takes, honestly. Oh, wow, only one. I'm surprised. Um, okay, right. I'm gonna leave these yellow Pikmin behind. Right, I'm gonna have mostly yellows and all that. We don't need blues at all in this fight. But for the sake of this, we're gonna have ten blues fight. So, there's also candy pot buds there if you need them. Um, right, we're gonna take all except 
ten blues. And then we're gonna... We're gonna have quite a few yellows. But we got enough yellows. Alright, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's just have 70 reds. And then we'll have the rest yellows. So then, um... So then the yellows... Because the yellows are going to do for the bomb rock stuff. Uh, so, and there's a lot of bomb rocks in this fight. Guarantee that. So let's just go for here. We're still not going to activate that plant thing yet. Uh, so what we do... Can you stop tripping? Oh boy, I just burped and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, okay. Um... Right, let's, um... Alright. Those yellows are just gonna stay there. And then we're gonna get the other yellows to get more bomb rocks. Because there's a lot more here. Not just these. But way more. So... I'm gonna go around here. Find another bomb rock shelter. And <laughs> there's another bomb rock shelter on the other side as well. And in the middle. And, there, and I mean, there's a lot of bomb rocks here. Yep, you can see, they're grabbing tons. I think every yellow Pikmin's gonna have a bomb rock. Wow. Has every yellow literally got... No, not all yellows, okay. Three of them haven't. Let's see if there's more here. Is there more? No, there's no more around here. Okay. Right. Then we'll go on the other side if we lose some bomb rocks. And then, uh, I don't mind if I lose any yellows. I don't not mind if I lose a lot of Pikmin, but still. Um, we're going to need a lot of yellows for this. So, I'm going to grab these yellows, and then, what they're going to do, I'm going to go near this plant, and let's throw a Pikmin at it. And we have the final boss, the Emperor Bulblax. Okay. And he ate that bomb rock already. In which we get our reds to then attack him. Which I don't think we're going to have enough time. No, we're not going to have enough time. I'm going to see if we can... Ah, he only ate that yellow. Okay. Can you eat that bomb rock? Alright. You ate that yellow. And then... I'm gonna get him! So we can get a lot of damage off him. There we go. This is why we need a lot of bomb rocks. Because the bomb rocks are pretty much used for... Um... Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, what are you doing? Okay. You know what? I'm gonna make him eat plenty of bomb rocks. Yeah, that's a lot of bomb rocks. How many explosions? Boom! That's a lot. Well, a lot of Pikmin died, but I don't. It doesn't really matter. I think he's stunned slightly longer. So, wow! How much HP have we lost from him? Wow! Or he lost rather. Right. These yellows. Oh, no. Yeah, if he jumps, it's not really good. So, yeah. Later on, he will jump instead. So. Alright. Come on. No, no, no. Jump. Don't jump. No, we. No. Oh, my God. He is so difficult a bit. I have this cool music, though. Um, don't jump. Alright, there we go. You, 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 just eat all them. Alright, here we go. It does lose a bit of HP. Right, so then the blues are attacking as well. Oh, we defeated him! Nice! And we got the secret safe at long last. I found the final part, my secret safe. And it's as full as ever. How glad am I that I persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll uh, even stop and pick up some souvenirs for, for my wife and kids back on planet Hockertate. 
Yep, and there goes the Emperor Bolwax. And you get off that, please. Just for all that. And yeah. Now, obviously, if I was on the GameCube version, I would have done something funnier with the Bomb Rocks. You might, uh, some of you might remember that if you watch one of my older videos. Then, we whistle them. Listen to that sound. It was a classic moment, so, yeah. And now, for the secret safe. Now, here it takes 40 Pikmin, but in the Japanese version of this game, this requires 85 Pikmin to carry. That is not a joke. Yeah, you need 85 Pikmin to carry this in the Japanese version. You can even do that. Secret safe, the final part. At last I found it most. I'm so relieved, it's as heavy as ever. I'm going to go the dangerous way. Okay. Maybe not a good idea. Oh, but I did it eventually. Okay. All right, let's bring out more yellows for the victory. And some more blues. Okay. Okay, let's heal myself because I still want to show this off. You see, we healed ourselves there. And 95 Pikmin can carry this. And that is every ship part gotten in the game. <sighs> I have finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return to home to Hockatate. Yes! Goodbye, Olimar. We will miss the Pikmin. Oh, but the Pikmin have found something. They found the Bulborb! Yes, on his bum! Oh, boy! They can do it without Olimar's assistance. And goodbye, final trial. There's a lot of coloured onions there. A lot of the colours have no pigment existence. Or maybe for the future, who knows. And here is our final analysis. And we have the best five as well. And uh, the surviving Pikmin and the Pikmin lost. So we've only spent 13 days during this to do this. We, ha we had uh, 746 Pikmin survived. And we had 171 Pikmin who died. But only when the ship was completed. So, uh, so yeah, that's that. And then here's all of the ship parts that we got. 
So the yellow ones are the ones that are required, while the blue ones are the optional ones. So we don't even need them, but obviously it's still best if we got them. So... Uh, do we want to save? We do. That's our only option. We can't do that. Well, we can back out, but that's our only option, so let's just save. Here we go. And so, that is Pikmin for the Nintendo GameCube, the Wii, and now the Switch, which is what we're on. And so, this game is really brilliant, uh, even back when it came out in 2001. And it's kind of like for years, Pik uh, uh, Pikmin has not really been cared about by Nintendo for a bit. And they only really made a new one last year with Pikmin 4. Uh, so yeah, and we've been waiting for that one for years. Uh, I still haven't fully played Pikmin 4 as of this video, but hopefully I will in the future. And get around to finishing it. But I have finished the other three Pikmin games uh, quite a few times, and... Yeah, those games are brilliant. And I, but I say Pikmin 2 is my favourite. The best one, I'd say. Uh, and, uh, like, even on the Switch, the controls feel really great. At all costs. And, um... All of that. It's really good. Then, we're going to get a creature montage, which looks like this in the Wii and Switch version. Armored Cannon Beetle. This migurity Levant has developed a stronger carapus. This... Ugh, I couldn't read all of that. Uh, the beady long legs, waxy secretions, forms this creature's distinctive armored shell. So, this is just talking about all the creatures in the game. Even the ones that we barely met. So, here we have the bread bug. This creature's thick hide protects it from uh, most attackers. Look at that face there, wow. And then we have the Burrowing Snaggeret. The bluish hue of its feathers distinguish it from the Burrowing Snarrow. What's the Burrowing Snarrow? Um, we know what this is, but we didn't even use it at all. The Candy Pop Bud. Could this be the next step in Pikmin evolution? Like the Pikmin themselves? It has many mysteries. And then we have, we never really met these uh, dwarf ball bears. We never really met these. It looks like an early stage of ball bear development, but this specimen appears to be nearly fully developed. We never met these small versions in this Let's Play, but still. And then we have the dwarf ball bob, which we have met. Although similar in appearance to ball bobs, these belong to a totally different species. Do they really? I thought they were like baby ball bobs. And then here's the naughty emperor ball blacks. And Brett Bulbalax, this massive grub dog buries itself when hunting. Oh god. And then, next up, if you move on, there we go. Okay, and then here's the fiery blowhog. Uh, this creature expels uh, combustible uh, phosphor that in like, moderate temperatures. I think in the original GameCube version, they made blue Pikmin fight that. Uh, fiery blowhog for some reason, I don't know why. Gulix, a watery, uh, generous membrance that protects this creature's nervous system. That is one of the optional bosses. And we have a honey wisp. That's not really an enemy. This creature uh, collects nectar for the larva waiting in its nest. And 
we have the Iridescent Flint Beetle. This forager stores undigested pellets in its stomach for winter. And then here's the goddamn Mamota. This creature seems fond of flowers, but only for their decorative properties. And then, did you have to make it eat the Pikmin? Poor Pikmin. The Pearly Clam Clamp. Though beautiful, this mollusk pearls are thin and fragile. Oh boy. And there's the Pellet Posey. That's not really an enemy. This sparsely uh, growing plant is able to crystallize nectar into round pellets. Oh boy. And then here's the Puff Stool, and it's going to turn the Pikmin into Puffmin. But almost, but not too much. Many consider this walking fungus a delicacy. Hmm, just a short description. And then here's the puffy blowhog. Instead of breathing fire, this species uses its hy uh, hydrogen to float. And then we have these annoying sheer grubs. Males of the species are purple and have a armoured head, while well, the female ones are just white. And then we have the more annoying ones that go flying, Shearwigs. The males of the species are able to fly, but the females remain underground. We don't even know what those ones look like. And here's the Smoky Prog. Though, those that are thought to be a ma malformed larval mamuta, which I think it is, and there's the the big daddy ball bear, the spotty ball bear. This rare sp sp subspecies of ball bulb has certain indefatibility, whatever that says. And then there's the normal ball. Oh my god, that face! This nocturnal hunter feeds mostly on small animals, returning to their nest at night. That is a creepy face, seriously. We have the swooping snitch bug. This rare species uses its antennae as wings. Oh, we have these things, the water dump holes. This aquatic creature is a close relative of the ball bulb. How is it? Unless it's a water version of it or something. And we have these things, wog poles or wall poles in European versions. This creature appears to be a newborn yellow wally hop in a tadpole. Or wally wog in a tadpole. And then there's the normal wally wog or wally hop. This creature's color, uh, uh, coloration results from remaining sheltered in its... Oh, I couldn't read the rest of that. And then there's the yellow wally wog or yellow wally hop. After evolution led to the development of its specialized jumping ability, this amphion actually lost much of its ability to swim. And here is the end. The happy end. Oh boy, and that is a slightly different screen than the GameCube version. I don't know if it was like this in the Wii version, but okay. Um... But yeah, I'm going to save that. I have a screenshot of that as well. Why not? Okay, where's it going to take us now? Back to the title screen and all that. So, yeah. So, that is everything in Pikmin done, pretty much. So, you can see on our file right here... We've only spent 13 days. Now, obviously, it says 29 out of 30, even though it should have been 30 out of 30, but it doesn't save that for some reason. But, yes, we have gotten everything. We ha we st we th So, the remaining Pikmin are alive. 264 reds, 279 yellows, and 223 blues. Yeah, we got less blues, but more yellows and mid-range of reds. So, yeah, that is, um, a lot. And also, in the Wii and Switch version, but not in the GameCube version, you can also go back a day. So we can even start a whole game again in the first day, if you want. Um, uh, not that you'll really want to, but that is how the progression went, if you're wondering. If you're really, really wondering. I don't know if Pikmin 2 has this feature added in its Wii and Switch version as well, but... But because it, it was definitely not in the GameCube version of that, but however, Pikmin 3 has a similar feature uh, in both the Wii U and Switch Deluxe versions. So yeah, you might have also noticed that we've unlocked a challenge mode here. Uh, we you unlock the challenge mode, I believe it's after you get the blue Pikmin uh, in the Forest Naval. So 
Uh, so, yeah, I think that's how you unlock it. So, here. It's basically, how many Pikmin can you grow in a day? So, it's basically a score system. So, it has all the main levels. Impact Sight, the Forest of Hope, the Forest Naval, the Distance Spring, and the Final Trial. And all that. So... So, um, I might do this in a bonus video or something, so, um, you can stay tuned for that if you want. Uh, so, um, I think that wraps things up for Pikmin then, so, if I do the bonus video, uh, I'll do that, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching these videos, these are really appreciated, and here's our score so far. Uh, so yeah, uh, it was really amazing, um, absolutely. So, this has been a pleasure. So, see you guys in the next playthrough. It's I, Jake, about. See you guys next time. Bye!